There are two types of self-defense situations. One type is when someone that you don't know is attacking you, but the great majority of self-defense situations involve someone you do know, either attacking you or trying to pressure you into something that you don't want to do. One of the greatest tools we have is the ability to say no. If it's someone you do know trying to pressure you into something that you're not comfortable with, simply, firmly say no. Don't make an excuse because if you make an excuse, that leaves room for them to come back around. Just say no, no questions asked. Most attackers are looking for an easy target. As soon as they find out that you're not an easy target, that you're going to protect yourself and fight back, they'll usually flee the scene as soon as you counterattack. Now I'd like to show you a simple self-defense technique that you can use if you're ever in a dangerous situation. This is called facial acquisition and head control. Basically, you reach out, get your hands on the person's face, you grip onto it, and you start going all over their face with your hands. This can be done as light or as hard as possible. If it's a very dangerous situation, you can use nails, you can rip ears, nose, whatever you need to do to come out safe. The reason this technique works so well is because it affects all five senses, which are centralized in the head. So you're affecting hearing, smell, touch, eyes, vision, and sometimes even taste. So it's very overwhelming and hard to deal with. This has been used by small ladies against much larger male opponents in real life situations and has gotten them out safely. And it's easy to do. So right now I'm gonna simulate the role of an attacker and my assistant is gonna demonstrate the facial acquisition and head control. Hopefully this video has given you some things to think about and given you the confidence to fight back if you ever do find yourself in a self-defense situation. Remember, the most important thing is to be aware, trust your instincts, and not let these situations happen. But if you do find yourself in a self-defense situation, the most important thing is to immediately turn the situation around on the attacker. You're attacking me, no, I'm attacking you. Once you've become the attacker, delivered blows to them, 95% of the time they will leave the scene, you can flee the scene and get to safety and call the police.